My grandmother cried from so much pain in her legs and back. Until she used this, guys. My grandmother started to feel a lot of pain in her legs and back. She cried with so much pain and I often saw her walking with great difficulty. She was almost crippled, as they say around here, until she discovered this recipe that I gave her. And now you believe she keeps thanking me? Want to know how to prepare this recipe? So stay with me the main ingredient of this recipe. It is a very small seed, rich in zinc, calcium, and phosphorus. Do you have any idea? What seed am I talking about? This very special seed is sesame. For the recipe, you will need a glass pot, a cup of sesame seeds, and enough water to cover. Let's put the sesame in the glass pot, cover with water and let it germinate for 8 hours. One serving of this seed has more calcium than an entire glass of milk. Believe me, sesame lubricates the joints and has a potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effect. After that time, wash the sesame seeds well, to remove all the strips that have been removed and from which they were soaked. Did you know that the minerals present in sesame seeds are essential for the body to regenerate bone tissue and prevent osteoporosis? Now, put the sesame seeds in the blender. Add 3 cups of filtered water and beat well. Leave it here in the comments of the city you are watching. I want to send you a big hug and thank you for sharing this recipe. Then turn off the blender and wait about 5 minutes. Then hit again. That way, you'll really hit all the seeds. Now you can strain it with a fine cloth or with a coffee strainer. The thinner it is, the better you can store this milk in a glass bottle in the fridge. It lasts on average 2 days. And how should I consume? Drink 200 milliliters of sesame milk a day, beaten with half a teaspoon of saffron and a teaspoon of honey or brown sugar. For those who are diabetic, just replace honey with stevia because sesame milk is a little bitter. I bet that, after knowing all the benefits of this seed, you will start using it every day and not just to decorate breads and snacks. If you've made it this far, leave the phrase strong bones in the comments. And the city you live in now I'll go back there in the comments and continue to respond to everyone who left their city name. And thank you for sharing this recipe. See you in the next recipe, stay with God. Goodbye.